as employers, we're always looking for ways for our employee, employees to grow. And often we create in-house professional development programs that even include certificates that can A, help our employees grow and B, help them celebrate their growth with the certificate. And one thing we encourage them to do is put that certificate on their LinkedIn profile. Well, you know what? We can automate that and make that even easier for the employee to put on their LinkedIn profile. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So often what we'll do is we'll t tell the employee, hey, go to your LinkedIn profile, go to license and certificates, click on the plus button and type it all in. Type in the, the name of the certificate, the certificate body, uh, the issue date, expiration date, credential ID, and the URL to show the actual credential. But we don't need to have them do that. We can make it easier for them now. We can give them a URL that when they go to that URL, it automatically brings up the ad license or certificate box with the name, the company name, issue date, expiration date, credential ID, and even a URL to that uh, PDF or image of that credential. So how do we do this? It's really pretty easy for the most part. Let me show you what I have created. I have a spreadsheet that I've created. I have the, I have the date that I did it, the employee that I did it, the employee's email address. I need that to communicate with them. But here's their certificate name, the organization ID, which is the ID of my company page, the issue date, issue month, expiration date, expiration month. This is all the data you need. There's the URL to get to the certificate and, and so they can actually have a, a certificate on your website or in a Google Docs or whatever and give that to them. There's the certificate ID that I use for an, another part of the messaging. Now I take all that information and I put it in this formula. Right here, let me show it to you. Maybe probably make it a little bit bigger. I put all that in this URL. And then I need to strip out some information and I create this URL right here. I can copy that. And once I copy that, I, I can then send that URL to the employee. And when they click on it, it's going to open up like this. The name of the certificate issue company, issue date, expiration date, if any, credential ID and certificate um, URL, credential URL. You All you've got to do is put it together and send this URL to this employee, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it was a little tedious for me to figure out, but I made it work. And again, the very simple little spreadsheet that I can make available to anybody who wants to have access to it. You need the name, you need, excuse me, you have to have org ID, issue year, issue month, expiration year, expiration month, cert URL. You have to have these in order to make this work. And then I can put together the formula and then you copy that formula down. And the next time you do it, you. You create another one in the spreadsheet, paste it here, and it brings up the, the URL that they need to have. And when they click on that URL, it takes them right directly into adding that certificate, and all they need to do is hit add. This is a work in progress. I'm working on refining it and making it better, but it's a great way to start. Uh, for those who provide certificates to their employees on a regular basis and they don't want to go use badges or some other third-party certificate tool. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn Sales Navigator Strategist. Again, this is a work in progress, but I'm going to share it now for anybody who's interested in it.